Hey guys, today is July 1st and I think the best part of the garden is gonna happen today. Look what we have here. Red cherry tomatoes. <laughs> cherry tomatoes are my favorite snack ever. Oh my gosh. This is the best. Let's find another one. I wait all year for that. So in that last rainstorm, it was real windy and you saw how these carrots toppled over, but they seem to be holding on. I'm gonna put tomato cages around them and see if they survive. We really wanna get seeds from these carrot tops. They're two year old plants, so it'd be kind of a loss if they all topple over. There's some that didn't make it. So yeah, now I got a little cage on either side. That should really help him out. Look, this guy I think is so close to going to seed. And let me tell you, the bees are loving what's happening with these. Very cute, super cute. So update on the basil. They're barely hanging on. I probably should have started them inside. They're not that great. This other type of basil, I think there's only one sprouting. You know, there's gonna be some flops in the garden. This is a flop. Future Marky, this wasn't as much of a flop as I thought. I actually got a ton of basil. They took off a little bit later in the season. I will start them early next year, but it wasn't, it wasn't that big of a flop. I should have been more patient. This is a weed. Dill coming in great. Cilantro coming in great. I probably am gonna have burritos this week and nibble on some of that. Look at the squash plants. I think it was acorn, acorn, and butternut, butternut. A little slow. It's got time to catch up. And the summer squash, summer squash, summer squash, cucumbers. They survived. Third try's a charm. They're still alive. Nothing's eating them. Crisis averted. Very cute. Everything in the garden is cute, in case you're curious. Now that it's summer, there's just not a lot left to do it's just beginning into july everything's just going to keep growing and there's not going to be me doing a lot out in the garden and that's one just because everything's all the hard work's been taken care of and the second thing is it's hot and our motivation has gone down and so we don't just do as much in the garden so most of the hard work is all done and it's paid off it looks really good Time to improve my burrito with some cilantro. Oh, check it out. The cucumbers are kind of growing up this. That's nice. Around this time, I'm also working on a woodworking project, but that's a video for another time. This little squash coming along good. another baby squash <clears throat> but look he's growing in my path and the grapes they're hugging come on oh there's a squash bug <sighs> he's so big but I need him gone in our last video we saw our first squash bug of the season and it ended with us killing it we're now well into squash bug hunting season. These monsters need to be eradicated before they take over the squash plants. I hate doing it. I think they're gross. They're big crunchy critters. They have to be knocked out before they take over. I need to get rid of the adults and I need to find their eggs on the leaves. It's a pain in the ass but it really paid off this year um, hunting them down to cull down their numbers. Other gardeners can attest to this, but nothing will kill a squash plant faster than squash bugs. It'll be a happy, healthy plant today, 
and a week later, totally dead, and it's these squash bugs will just multiply at such a rate, they'll wipe out all of your squash. It's a pain in the butt. Can you see how many bugs are flying around the carrots? It's so busy. Little native guys. pollinators, some of my bees, whatever that ugly thing is. So let's get some tomatoes. Here are your tomatoes. Beautiful. He went through the wheel and down the other side. Oh, where's he at now? Right. Oh, I see him now. Where's he? What's right. he doing? He's like, what is this? Hey, there he is. I actually love seeing snakes in the garden. They're awesome. He's looking for a snake. Good luck finding a snake. See you later. got back from my workout and Jake's sending me out in the garden to get more tomatoes again for the salads but I'm tired almost too tired to eat but let's get some salad so I've got this container from some other cherry tomatoes reduce reuse recycle Look at these Romas coming in. Looks like a pepper. Those are gonna be good looking Romas. Oh no, I dropped one. There he is. I suppose I shouldn't complain. Jake's making my salad inside. I told him I was too tired to make a salad, so he sent me into the wilderness to harvest vegetables. It truly is a wilderness. Let's see, there's some back here. Nice, that'll do nutrients. Oh, these are raspberries. Oh yeah. Those are a tasty snack. It's looking good. And so are these. Yet again, I've misjudged how big the tomatoes get. This one is falling over. Jake and I are propping it back up. Pulled off the ground. Yeah. It's all tied up now. I really need to give those tomatoes more space. It's like a forest. Jake put this cage here so that these tomatoes were off the ground.
squash bug. Here are squash bug eggs, which are normally on the underside of the leaves. Burn them. Here's some more, burn them. Total squash bug count today, eight. And a bunch of eggs. They're so gross. And with that carnage, this ends part 14.